everybody, welcome to Childbox Reviews. I'm Stan with my lovely wife Tanya here again and we're doing a reaction to Moon Knight. This is something that's really kind of odd to me because I've always been like told like this is the Batman of the Marvel Universe and stuff, but it's a way different level kind of deal. Like, So going back to 10 year old me wanting to um, read about Moon Knight I think and um, never getting around to it, cut to... 10 years later, 2005, um, I meet this girl who's into Egypt and mystical uh, Egyptian kind of history and mm -hmm. stuff. I was like, oh, this gives me a good chance to be like, hey, we'll buy some Moon Knight comics and stuff and have a read of them together. <laughs> nope, she already made her mind up. She's Dark Phoenix Girl all the way. <laughs> Jean Grey, freaking... Yep. But, um, yeah, so this is going to be interesting because we haven't watched the uh, Hawkeye series because yeah. we already know it's a bait and switch. It's not really the Hawkeye series. It's the Kate Bishop show. And then, like, there's been a lot of issues I've had with, like, you know, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I was just, like, they're lecturing you at the end. Or, you need to do better. It's like, well, what's your plan, Falcon? And he's like, oh. <laughs> and then, like, you, you have WandaVision. It's like, no, nah, it's just Wanda. Vision just flies off and we don't even get a cap uh, bookend off what happens to him and stuff no it's all wonder but with this i'm kind of a little bit curious to see if they're starting to get away from the whole lecturing the audience about how we need to be more diverse and like activism and stuff hopefully because oscar isaac is a favorite of ours is he gonna is he in this He's the lead. Oh, he's Moon Knight. He's Moon Knight. I had Knight. no idea. I'm going in this completely blind. I love Egyptian things. I love everything about Egypt, um, all the statues, the symbols, everything. So when Stan was telling me about um, Moon Knight, I was very intrigued. But I haven't really researched him, so I don't really know his origins and stuff. So I'm going in this fresh. I, I like... I just remember from when I was younger asking a friend why the hell is he wearing all white and it's like so his enemies can see him coming because he ah. wants to i was just like oh man so he's or, like or punisher he style like a ghost? well they were just like kind of telling me like he's like punisher meets freaking you know oh, batman wow. meets this meets that i was like wow like freaking this is like a death stroke kind of dude and stuff but let's anyway do it. let's see if they're gonna go full force and here we go yay There he is. Oh, he's training himself. I can't tell the difference between my waking life and dreams. Hmm. I liked him as uh, Apocalypse. So is it kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh in a, in a way? Don't know. We've been there. You're bloody useless. Stephen. Hmm. I can't tell the difference. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Lost the contact lens. Because he is kind of a uh, museum archaeologist deal and stuff. Oh, is he? Yeah. Okay. He's got your dream job. Yeah. Oh, secret phone. Yeah. Oh my God, you're alive. What's wrong with you, Mark? Hmm. Why did you call me Mark? It must be very difficult. The voice is in your head. There's chaos in you. Oh. This does look pretty cool. Oh. The chaos. <gasps> wow. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Wow. So he gets like the wrappings, like the mummies. <gasps> nice. That really that's so cool that's really awesome like it so looked they're almost making it like he's got a multiple personality situation in like the beginning of the trailer and then towards the end it's all kind of coming together so i wonder if that's going to be the progression of season one i don't know like exactly everything about moon knight but i do know like certain elements about him and stuff 
that's intriguing what i liked about this trailer was they weren't shifting it over to the wacky freaking best friend or something that he's got that mm. seems to be a, a person of color or a, a, you know a gen different gender and stuff but like it's a mystery in this trailer of like what the hell's happening to him and stuff mm. so it seems like we're going to go on the journey with him but at the same time it's ki kind of like Whoa, the demons, the mummies and stuff all coming to or life. Or the underworld, yeah. And he's there to keep them at bay. Yeah. But um, that's really cool because you can see under the wrappings kind of it does have that Oscar Isaac feel mm. to it. You know it's him. So like, I, Yeah, I didn't realise. That just looked really cool, him like, you know, like just pounding away at that mummy. Yeah. But um, what did you think so I, far? I, I think it's cool. Like, I, I, I mean, I don't really give a crap about all the politics or whatever that that they may throw in i'm just interested in the story like this looks cool and also too just it, the beat down at the end it's because we're going in fresh yeah. we're, we're not like super educated with moon knight i'm going but, to get educated <laughs> well do you want to make that mistake in case they do change some stuff up yeah but we still gotta i still want to uh get into like the comics and stuff anyway because i know you're like you're a just a sucker for yeah like, you know, there's a reason why you like hawk girl and yeah absolutely all that stuff like it's just i don't know like it's nice to kind of not be in the driver's seat mm. and to sort of be like oh they're making reference to this oh they're doing this and that it seems like a very nice standalone and i think we're in london too we're yeah oh d definitely that's um the british museum that we've been to so it's going to be it really? uh, yeah 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 that's what i was like that's what we've been there <laughs> really? I didn't even notice yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Well, it looks like the British Museum to me. Because when I heard him talking with an English accent, I was like, what? Yeah. What's he doing that for? <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's... Like, one thing I'm so upset about, he was so underdeveloped in the Star Wars movies. They oh, really yeah, yeah, yeah. screwed him so badly. Yeah. And, like, you kind of wish, like, man, that's one of the intriguing characters that you wish they stuck with. Mm. Like, take nothing away from John Boyega and Daisy Ridley and stuff. Like, yeah, they made her, them. And uh, what's his name? Playing Kylo. Like, the focus point of the, the movies. But at the same time, I was just like, man, Oscar Isaac, like, the... The super He's a pilot. great actor. Like, yeah. Awesome. Absolutely wicked. So I can't wait to see what he brings to this. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. And thanks, thanks for watching, watching. guys. Bye. Bye.